Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin and the folks from G Court have sent me this ultra ruggedized case for the iPhone 5 and 5S. This is called the Janko and uh, it is very inexpensive. It looks a lot like the OtterBox, except it doesn't uh, cost as much as the OtterBox. In fact, this case is under $10. And uh, they asked me what color I wanted to review it in. And I said, well, definitely send me the yellow if you have it. So this thing is ready for the construction site. I'm actually starting uh, the review with the case on because it does take a while to get the case on the phone. So uh, maybe we'll deconstruct it after we take a look at its features. Now, it's important to note that unlike the OtterBox, this is not water resistant. I suppose if you get water on the screen, you'll be okay. There's a screen protector, uh, but the touch ID sensor is exposed, uh, as is the front facing camera and sensor there, as well as the back camera. And uh, there is a area here to protect the, uh, the ports, but again, it's just a, a, a flap. And it, I don't think this is really gonna hold up against any kind of uh, weather or rain. However, it is rugged enough, I think, that you can certainly drop your phone uh, many times and not have too many issues with it. This is a pretty uh, strong case, so I'm, I'm impressed with that. Uh, it does, you know, come off a little bit at the bottom here, so that's one thing just to be aware of. So, I mean, it's not perfect like an OtterBox might be, but it's certainly uh, sufficient as a protective case. So, uh, let's take a look at uh, taking the case off here so you can see what it consists of. So, the rubber thing comes off like this. Like I said, it takes a little bit of effort to get it back on again. Uh, and then you've got to look for uh, these little points here where you can separate things uh, from the case. So they want you to kind of stick your fingers in here and kind of get these parts separated. And once you get these four uh, components detached, sometimes they snap back in. Uh, once you get these four components detached, it, it comes off pretty easily. So uh, it wasn't too hard to get it on, but it is rather, uh, rather strong in, in how it uh, holds itself together, which is actually a good thing because you want your case uh, to be very strong. So we're going to give up on this at the moment, but as you can see, uh, it is fairly uh, strong there. And this is a uh, kind of a plastic uh, sheathing that goes around it. And then the, the rubber goes on top of that. And it is rather thick as well. So uh, the volume up and down buttons work just fine. You can get at uh, the power button easily as well. Everything is uh, placed in the right position. So it uh, works pretty decently. And that's uh, the back of it. I also forgot to mention there's a belt clip very similar to the OtterBox. And it also doubles as a kickstand. So you can uh, kind of turn it in this position here. And then uh, you can just uh, place the uh, this is like a little alligator clip, but if you um, push it underneath there, it'll uh, allow you to prop the phone up as a little stand. So that's uh, kind of a neat little feature as well. So that is the Janko uh, case from uh, G Cord. And now I'm going to try to get my phone out of this. <laughs> so uh, we'll be back again uh, with more great, great products to review. And this is Lon Sivan. Thanks for watching.